Hi, Tucker kids. Hi, Collicott kids. Hi, Cunningham kids. Hi, Glover kids. Today's project is some edible dinosaur art. And we're going to be using different foods. So the different foods that you will need are a slice of bread, like this. And the bread should, should still have some kind of crust on it. It can be um, a regular slice of bread with the brown crust along the edges, or it can be like the last piece of the loaf of bread, like this one. You will also need one banana. It doesn't have to be completely ripe because we're using it for art, but if you want to use the food um, to eat after you make the art, uh, make sure the banana is ripe. Right? You will also need an apple or a kiwi. You can also use uh, anything else that's green, like uh, maybe lettuce or celery, something that's green. So I have a green apple. Uh, you will also need another kind of fruit that's either yellow or orange. Um, it's not absolutely necessary that you have this kind of fruit, but um, I'm going to use this for part of my artwork. You will also need some kind of a nut butter or sun butter. Uh, you can also use a different kind of spread like cream cheese or jelly, something that you can spread on a piece of bread that's edible. So I'm going to use the peanut butter that I have. You will also need something else that's green, so uh, you could use lettuce or celery, like I said before. And I also have some pumpkin seeds that are also green, which I think I'm going to use too. And something else that's small and a dark color, so something like a raisin or a chocolate chip, uh, maybe even like chocolate sprinkles, something that's small. Uh, and uh, a dark color. So anything that you have in your kitchen at home that would work. Um, would be fine. So I, I realized that not everyone has the same foods that I have, but you can use different things to substitute. So if you don't have, um, you know, if you don't have a green apple, use the celery. If you don't have um, this kind of bread, use a different kind of bread or something else in your kitchen that's brown that you could use. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move some of these things over, make some room. All right, and I, you'll also need a nice big plate. I'm just gonna brush off the crumbs here. So a nice big plate like this, like a dinner size plate. This is going to be the surface where we make our dinosaur food art. Okay, so step one is you're going to take your piece of bread and you're going to cut off a very thin piece of the crust right along the edge. So use a knife to cut it. So just a thin piece like this, put it to the side. Well, I've got a lot of crumbs here. My bread is very, <laughs> very crummy. All right, so put your bread right in the middle of your plate and whatever spread that you chose to use, um, we're gonna put that spread on the bread. So I'm gonna use peanut butter for mine. If you have something else to use, this is the time that you would put it on the bread. So I'm gonna put some peanut butter on. A little bit more. Okay, so this part of the dinosaur is his body. Put the peanut butter away. Keep your knife out. I'm going to clean my knife off a little bit. So I'm going to cut the banana next. And I don't want peanut butter on my banana just yet. Move my plate over. Peel your banana. Oops. 
and I'm going to cut my banana. Oh, actually, it actually broke apart. <laughs> I was going to cut it in half, but there it is. This is the dinosaur's neck. So you can put it right here above the bread. So there's his neck. And with the rest of the banana, you're going to cut it in some small slices. Like that. And you're going to put it on top of your bread. Okay, so behind the dinosaur, we're going to take that piece of bread that we cut earlier, and this is going to be a tree trunk. So the, it's going to look like the tree trunk or the tree is behind the dinosaur. So I'm going to put it like this, right behind the dinosaur. So you can arrange this a little better. Okay, so there's our tree trunk. And then whatever fruit you chose that is green, like the apple or the kiwi, we're going to cut some uh, palm fronds with the green fruit. So I'm going to cut my apple. I basically cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut some smaller pieces of the apple. Like that. And I'm going to arrange them for the top of my tree. Here's another piece. I just want the green part to show, so I cut a little bit of the white off. And then I'm going to use one of my raisins, which are the dark color fruit. And I'm going to use that for the eye. Oops. And down here, I'm going to use my lettuce and my pumpkin seeds, just to show like some vegetation down here. So I'll do some of the pumpkin seeds. Just sort of falling underneath there. My plate isn't very flat, so they're going underneath the bread. <laughs> but that's okay. And I'll use some of my lettuce down here. And then my orange fruit, or yellow fruit if you have some, I'm gonna slice off a piece of the orange and I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna cut it into a circle as best I can and that can be the sun up in the sky. And I probably don't have very much room here but maybe I can put it right here. So I do a little slice. Well, it's not bad, it's not perfectly round but i can probably make it a little better. I felt like it was too big, but now it's like... It's less round than it was before, but maybe I can do it. Mm -hmm. 
And there is my yummy edible dinosaur art. And like I said, you can use whatever you have in your kitchen, but make sure that you ask uh, your parent to just to check to make sure that the food that you want to use is okay. Um, they might be saving some of the food for a meal later. Um, so make sure you check with the parent um, that it's okay for you to use the different foods. Okay? And you can substitute any food that you like. If you don't like uh, peanut butter, use something else. If you don't like apples, use something else. And that's our project for today. And uh, good luck with it. And I will see you in the next video.